it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net, and in this video, I'm going to give you three extremely helpful tips that are going to help you stop double faulting. And make sure you stay to the end of the video when I show you a special offer I've got on my website to help you master your serve. Now, the first tip that I think is really going to help you is understanding how long the tossing arm needs to stay up in the air. Federer does just an incredible job with this. I watch most recreational players, at most, their tossing arm gets this high, you know, where Federer is all the way back here. And then the moment they toss the ball, their tossing arm begins dropping. Not Federer. If we zoom in, look how close from the camera's view his racket and his left hand are. That is something you can practice easily when you go out and hit a bucket of balls. I want you to practice this position where... Your tossing hand and your racket, when your racket gets into the trophy position, are incredibly close. Why does this help you? Because it's going to help keep your shoulder angle correct. Tennis, especially the serve and the second serve, tennis is a lifting game. It's an upward swinging game. And it's no different on the serve, especially the second serve where you're trying to avoid a double fault. So by keeping your tossing arm up an incredibly long time and having the tossing hand super close to the racket in its trophy position, and by the way, he's not doing this because you know his arm is bent like this. He's doing this with a straight tossing arm. By doing this, it keeps your shoulders tilted in position so you can swing up into the shot, into your second serve. Now, let's check that out. And let's look at his racket path as he's going into the ball. So I want you to notice how his racket goes up to contact. Watch his racket go up. His racket follows the green arrow. Swinging up into the ball is going to help you, even if you don't have tremendous kick and top spin on your serve, it's going to help you to make sure that you are imparting spin that is going to help bring the ball back down. You want that ball to have sufficient spin to help bring it into the court. This is why pros can swing so fast into their second serves, yet the ball stays in. Why? Because they're putting spin on it. So because you're going to keep your tossing arm up a really long time and keeping your shoulder angle correct, that's going to help you swing up into the serve. You can see he's keeping his head up as he's hitting, look at his head. He's not pulling it down, looking where he wants the ball to go. He's keeping his head up throughout the entire motion. So these two ideas work together, keeping your tossing arm up an incredibly long time and then getting the racket to swing up. And you can notice at contact how the racket is to the inside of his hand, right? The racket's on the inside. You don't want the racket straight above your hand, especially when you're trying to put a bit of topspin on the ball. You want the racket to the inside as a right-hander. That means to the left of your hand. And he's swinging up to that point. I just love this. I just love this view of his racket going up to contact. And it continues to go up, by the way. Watch this after contact. The whole time, he goes like this. Look at his racket path. It's going up even after he hits the ball. So his racket is still going up. That's what's imparting the spin because the racket is going from the left to his hand to actually up above his hand as he strikes the ball. You can see his head is up. Gosh, I just love his service motion. One of the best serves absolutely of all time. And then the last thing is I want you to look at his feet. Notice how he lands in front of the baseline. He, he is tossing slightly in front of him, exploding forward. You want your body not just swinging up, but swinging up and forward at the same time. So again, that was the entire direction we just saw him swing, up and forward into the shot, and he finished inside the baseline. So I want you to work on these three ideas, and how do you do that? You go out and film yourself. Film yourself and see how long you can keep your tossing hand up in the air. See if your tossing hand and your racket can get really close to each other as long as you keep your tossing arm straight. See how long you can keep your tossing arm up into the trophy pose. Work on swinging up into the serve. Don't pull down. That's just going to put the wrong spin. It's going to make the ball go long. Swing up into the ball and make sure you land inside the court. Now, as promised, on 2MinuteTennis.net, my website, and you, you got to check it out. You've got to go to 2MinuteTennis.net. 
On the top right, click the menu, click online training in the middle, put in your you know first name, last name, email, create your account. And what I want you to do is click on master your serve. You can see master your serve right there. And on the right, you can see you can take live Zoom private lessons with me. But master your serve. It's going to take you through step by step 11 different videos. And after each video, after each video, you take a test. So here's the checkpoint number one, the ready position of the serve. And when you're done with the video, I take you through a series of about 10 questions after each video making sure that you understand exactly what was taught in each video from palm down to hitting the birthday hat to how to pronate and put side spin, even at home drills you can use in order to perfect your serve and make it absolutely incredible. At the time of making this video for you, the uh, cost is $27. It is absolutely the best serve course on the market. So go to two minute tennis.net right now. Click the top right menu that you'll see right there. Click the top right menu, put in your credentials and check out master your serve on two minute tennis.net. When you do, there's no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from two minute tennis.net. You got this.